Hi, this is Doug Dunlap with this week's Hillendale Motivational Moment. If you joined me last time, we talked about the lingering physical effects of COVID, COVID-19, and how many of us who want to get back to exercising or just overall movement again are impeded by these lingering, ongoing effects of COVID. And uh, John Hopkins University has some suggestions on how to kind of get back into moving and activities of daily living, even exercise again. But so just some, some easy steps, maybe not easy steps, but uh, beginning steps to overcome the, these effects of COVID. Number one is just to do some deep breathing, whether sitting in a chair, lying down, uh, reclining in a chair, just do some deep, deep, deep breathing or some humming or singing that helps you know, our lungs, our lung capacity to help our vestibular system to do some eye nods or some eye movements up and down and back and forth. Uh, also for our uh, for physical movement when it comes to like flexibility and so forth some light stretching or while we're in bed or sitting do some cross body stretching bringing elbow to knee or knee to shoulder things like that to gradually build up our strength using some light weights like you know light dumbbells with uh, doing a variety of different repetitions or uh, do some you know some walking or you know that type of thing or uh, and then gaining endurance to do some light cardio training for maybe three to five to seven to eight to ten minutes of just walking or just uh, it might be a, moda a, a, a modality or type of uh, uh, cardio exercise equipment that just we just doing it on light steady pace for five to ten minutes so just some ways to just gradually get back into movement and gradually get back into exercise by the folks of John Hopkins University some suggestions for us who are overcoming the effects of COVID-19. This is Doug Dunlap with this week's Hillendale Motivational Moment.